so here's the Lightscribe rendering. Um, this is the free version that you get with uh, online. You can get it at the Lightscribe, Lightscribe site. This is the template labeler. They do have a simple, simple labeler, which doesn't give as good of an intense quality. Alright, my, my first run through, I just did the simple labeler, which just basically does text and focus that for you. Um, this is a little like Hawaiian theme. Um, and you get two options for text, the top and the bottom. You can put whatever you want there, but it does start to feed into the pattern, which is a little bit unfortunate. So this is really simple. These types of uh, burnings only take like two minutes, which is nice. But where the real technology comes into play is when you start doing the larger, more in-depth backgrounds. Now, you there are a lot of paid softwares you can get, and honestly, they're going to give you the better alternative. However, if you want a free program, which I'm sure a lot of people do, they do have the Lightscribe template labeler, which you can also download from the site. Now, the cool thing about this is it does have a lot more options. Um, I can show you the different templates they have, but they do have a very wide selection, and you can download a lot more of them free from the actual site. Now, I'm rendering one right now. It's actually a pretty in-depth one, if you can see in the background. Um, it's a little, it's a lot darker. It has a lot more to do. Everything is basically going to be burnt. Now this type of render is going to take about 25 minutes. It's been going for a couple minutes right now. But the really cool feature is, I don't know if you can see this very well, but it has a visual like simulated progress. So of course it may not be burning this exactly in your drive. It shows you a progress bar, how much time remaining, estimated, but then you can actually see little wheel spinning around to simulate how fast it's burning, how much it's burned, and it's pretty nifty and it updates pretty um, consistently to how long it takes to burn. So as far as the discs go for Lightscribe, they're actually really cool. They're not that expensive. I think the 50 pack I got was about $24, which equates about 50 cents a disc, which isn't bad at all compared to other mediums that you could do to do this if you go to a professional place or whatever like FedEx that does things like this. The nice thing about it too is it is a DVD disc versus just a CDR or RW, which basically means it can store more and you can actually put videos on here, pop it into your DVD player and watch them. So it has added function there. I'm pretty sure CDRs are about like 800 megabyte storage space while these run more about the 4 gigabyte size. So it's a lot more storage and it's not expensive at all. The Lightscribe uh, disc burner itself is most computers nowadays will come with it, however if you bought a computer in the past or before two years ago, you probably don't. I didn't. I The disc I had only burned CDs and I've been needing to burn some DVDs recently, so that's why I got this. And uh, I want to say, because I bought it quite a long time ago, they weren't that expensive, maybe in the $30, $40 range and very easy to install. They even have some external ones. If you don't want to install it, you can just plug it into a U USB port and then you have what you need from it. Um, kind of losing my train of thought. And then as far as the software goes, it's not that bad. Again, the two, the simple labeler and the template labeler are both free from the Lightscribe site and you can download numerous labels from them. I mean, not hundreds. I think they might have like 80 extra labels that you can download, but it's nice. It's free. You can't really argue with that. And uh, the other products that are out there for actual burning, are nice like if you're going to invest I would definitely recommend sure thing which is only about $25 and they're almost limitless in the amounts of things you can do it's almost like a Photoshop for your CD burning needs they can also do like barcodes and stuff so if you need this for business reasons it's it's pretty handy I highly recommend the Lightscribe product to anybody who is going to be burning things or using any type of customization for gifts or again if it's for a business you need to put like your music CD out there if you're like a musician or I don't know insert your need here a photographer regardless it's really nice it looks professional it's very well done if you have a good printer you can do the same thing to burn or to print um, like covers basically so you can slide those into your CD discs there's a lot of good options that you have with this as far as professionality goes and just for fun like these really are kind of fun they take a while but the final product looks really nice. As far as uh, storage ability, like we already talked about the size, this is the best for your money. I mean, CDRs are pretty darn cheap, but 
comparatively, you're going to be spending about the same amount of money per gigabyte of storage. And if you can store them on less disks, that's better in my book. So I highly recommend if you don't have an external hard drive and you have material that you don't want to lose, get one. An external hard drive, they're so cheap right now. And you can buy a huge amount of storage for not a lot of money. I think I have a terabyte. Yeah, it's a terabyte, which is a thousand gigabytes of storage. I'm not even near 20% used on that with all my photos and videos. And I don't know what I would do without it. It cleans up your computer like crazy. And again, they're not expensive. I think mine when I bought it like two years ago was $100. And I'm sure the price of those has dropped significantly. So get one of those. But I'm also not a risk taker. And so to have disk backups is not a bad idea. I highly recommend it. Just... Put everything on your external hard drive, keep it by your computer. It's nice to just have in case your computer crashes, but in case of a fire or something, both of those are going to be lost. So keep your disks in a different place, whether that's a fireproof safe or just anywhere downstairs in the basement, in the attic, just somewhere away from your external hard drive. So if anything happens in that general area, hopefully this other area will be safe. Highly recommend it. Um, as far as light scrub, I don't have much else to say. Uh, there are a little bit more customizability options that you can get. They have different colors. I think the ones I saw are like pink, blue, green. They have a couple others. I think there's like a total of five. Those are a little bit more expensive, but they look really nice. Um, they're definitely very bold colors, and I think on the black and white background, the gold is going to get a little old after a while. I kind of rhymed. Hmm. So that's basically it. I'll show you this final like big picture one when it's done, and it looks like I have about eight minutes left on that. And then feel free to make your own decisions. Again, this is just a nice little review. I didn't see many out there. So hopefully this will help any questions that you have with the LightScribe technology. If you have any other questions that I didn't address in this video, please feel free. Uh, leave me a comment or send me a message. I am not an expert at this by any means. I'm just starting and experimenting with all the things this technology can do. But I have it. So at least if you have a question about how it works or whatnot, I can play around with it, find out the answer, get back to you. It, it's a good way to understand what's going on. That didn't make any sense. It's nice though when someone else buys something before you that they can tell you the kinks, if it's worth it, things like that. It's not a big investment. I mean like large investments like a computer or like a, a digital camera. Those are things that you want to kind of look around for. This isn't that expensive. I think if you bought everything together, including a, a real software package, you'd be looking about the $100 range. So it's not that bad at all. And that's including the disks too. So that's my review on LightScribe technology and its capabilities. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is the finished product uh, for my little uh, experiment, I guess, with an actual image. Um, it turned out pretty good. It's It actually looks a little darker on the camera than it does in real life. This is a pretty light image, but it, I mean, it's a really nice background. The unfortunate thing with LightScribe is that the contrast can't be too high. Again, it is kind of an intro technology, and they can't do too much in your own um, home software. At more professional places you can definitely get a lot more contrast to the point where it's looking like a photograph, but this is really, really awesome. Um, it looks really nice, you can, you can read everything, it has good quality. I'm sure if you do more images that have if you do more images that have higher contrast, those will look great. So if you have a lot of like black on white or very dark colors and light colors on very concise lines, I'm sure that'll look awesome. The glasses outline looks pretty awesome. But that's basically it as far as the photo quality goes. That's the best I think you can assume you're going to get with LightScribe technology, at least the one that I have right now. So that's it. hope you guys liked it.